people assigned to mortality of COVID that actually, if they did just die of the COVID, there's a small number. But if you put all the other with comorbidities and all that, all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, the mortality rate's high. I go, the COVID didn't do that. They were already dying before they got in there. But the point is to scare people. And when you scare people, they get stressed. And when they get stressed, they lose their immune function. And therefore, more people are getting sick every day, and you're blaming it on the virus. And I'm saying it's the stress hormones of a world that is not working, where people need to survive and with no vision of a future of how it's going to work. Of course, they're stressed. You automatically made a, pa a patient susceptible to the virus, not just have a, a flu-like symptom, but die. From what? Not from, from the, the virus, but from shutting off the immune system. That is the biggest problem. Bruce, you just said <clears throat> it's by law. By, by U.S. law, yes. they must list it down as COVID. If, there's any, if they had the COVID in any way, or you as, the word is you assume they have the COVID, then the leading cause of death by government decree in the vital statistics of the government, the Bureau of Vital Statistics, uh, by decree, you put down COVID as the cause of death, irregardless of any comorbidity. That's a law. The one question, Bruce, we just don't, can't get an answer to or can't understand is why. Why are, we, why are they scaring the citizens of this world? When really the function of government, you think, would be to placate people, to calm them down. Why are they causing this epidemic of fear? Well, one of the first things you have to recognize is always been concerned about a world government, you know, a whole world government, the world power. Well, guess what? This is a test that the entire population of this planet has been controlled by a very small group of people who made the rules. And so basically, you've just seen the installation of a, a, a world government because if another virus comes, of course they're gonna do the same damn thing again. Uh, uh, and all of a sudden it's, what, what does this mean? And I go, well, number one, this is a manipulation beyond anything I can imagine. And the significance about this is that it enriches and enhances some group of people and whatever vision. Now you say, but why would, why would we wanna have a problem? Why would we wanna have so many people die? You ready? The belief in conventional science is a belief in Darwinian evolution. You go, what the hell does that have to do with it? And I go, Darwin used some data that was so wrong, but built the whole damn premise of the theory uh, uh, on the idea that uh, animals outgrow plants in population. I go, uh, and I go, why is that an issue? I said, as animals reproduce more and more, guess what? There's less and less plants. And so this is where the struggle of life came from.